Hi gang, Mike from Keyhole Piano Shells here. Today we're going to talk about reinforcing casters on our soft-sided piano shell cases. I have one of those here. This is uh, one of our small. This is our smallest model, uh, and I chose this one because it's actually my personal case. And you may or may not have experienced the dreaded tipping wheel syndrome that we get sometimes because the, all that these casters are riveted into is just a thin piece of plastic. Today we're going to talk about increasing the rigidity by modifying it with a piece of plywood. And to do that, you're going to need a piece of plywood and then a, a power drill a 3 16th inch drill bit and the fastener driver of your choice. Today we're, I'm going to use these hex head fasteners so I like a quarter inch hex head drill bit here. It's magnetic. These are uh, nice and easy to put on. They don't uh, cam out easily when you're drilling them in. So the first thing we have to do to begin is to drill out these rivets. To do that safely we take the board that we have prepared and slide it in to protect the back side of the case in the event that the drill bit goes all the way through. So the board is actually sized longer than the opening, so it'll have to go in this way. And then once it's inside, you'll tip it up into place. Once in place, again, just make sure that the board is somewhere behind this caster as we drill these rivets out. The rivet should come apart just drilling through the head as such. And we'll do this the remainder of the time. One caster removed, on to the next. You see my technique is to spin the drill and that is because again we're only aiming to get this top washer off and it will, as you can see, it can start spinning the entire rivet, in which case it's not doing any drilling any longer. After that, the remaining pieces, you may decide to slide the board forward out of the way. So the board I, I put in there is clear up here. And now I'm going to pull this, pull these washers from the back side out. And they look like this right here. So that's the back side. And again, um, push it up, push it through with your thumb. Make sure if you drop any down in this gully down here that you retrieve them so they don't stay in there and potentially damage your piano shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why don't I see number eight? Ah, it's still in there, see? All right, slide the board back and we're already prepared to reinstall the casters. Now let's talk about the casters for a minute. The ones that come on your soft shell are two inch casters. They're a rigid caster, they don't swivel, they don't have a break. This is preferable over any other style, but the size can change. Of course we can stay with the two inch, or if we had say uh, a 50 key master or a 60 key master, some of the larger soft cases may decide they want to try and use a three inch. This is a four inch caster. I think this is probably beyond the scope of a soft case in general. Uh, and so it begs the question, why don't we start out by putting a three inch wheel on? Well, the reason for that is the three inch wheel sticks out significantly more. And in, and in the case of a mobile setup, which is what we want, sometimes this caster this large may prevent people from getting it into their vehicle. So that's why we go for the smallest ones we can get away with. All right, next 
and you're reinstalling the casters. You do want to make sure that the board is all the way down and you should have excess case at the top. That's normal. Now, again, I'm going to double check this, that this board is where it needs to be. I'll move it over a little bit. I can feel it back here. And we left the plastic in. The plastic's actually sewn right across here, so it's, it's not going anywhere without some effort. And in most cases, you want to be fairly close to the edge of the board. Their original rivets should be in a fairly close location to where the caster should go. After you get the first one in, make sure that your caster is parallel to the board, this edge of the board. The straighter the caster, the easier it will be to move it up and down hallways and corridors, either pushing or pulling. If you have a toe in or a toe out situation, then this could cause it to wander back and forth if you are pushing into a toe in situation. Do the same thing with the next caster. I'm going to lower it a little. And again, to the best of your ability, Make sure that these wheels are as parallel to one another as possible. Eight screws. Now you have easily removable, replaceable casters for any time the future requires you to, you know, replace them. Um, I did forget to point out, I like to have the, uh, the top of the, the head of the bolt coming out on the outside. I, I didn't get that here, but that's a nice touch if that's something that you uh, that you want to uh, keep keep from catching on things. So that does conclude the, uh, notice we don't have, we don't, it doesn't bend or go anywhere. It's stiff, it's tough. We shouldn't have any problems um, getting our piano in there. Uh, and that concludes making the piano shell cases, casters a little more rigid. Thanks for tuning in.